Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tanil Howell Huzzy. I am the business development and project officer for the Innovation, Entrepreneurship and Technology Center and the Business Development and Consulting Institute for the University of the Commonwealth Caribbean. Thank you for joining us. Today, we will have Wayne Johnson of the Development Bank of Jamaica and Gennardo Patterson of First Global Bank explain what support they offer to SMEs. But before we have esteemed guests present, I would like to give you a rundown on what we do at the UCC BDCI. BDCI. So let me start share. Okay. All right, um, just to give you a, a context. During this dynamic period, the words change and pivot have become a part of our business language. We have been forced to adjust our lives and how we do business, to adapt to the new realities of our dynamic environment to ensure sustainability. But in order to change and cope with these new complexities, it is important that you have a solid foundation and the requisite resources to support that process of adaptation. How you build your business makes all the difference in whether you will be able to make the transformation to your business in order to survive. At UCC BDCI, we have made it our business and we are dedicated to helping launch entrepreneurs of micro, small, medium enterprises who are seeking to bring innovation to market, enabling our clients to capitalize on business opportunities. We aspire to be known as a premier business development service organization in Jamaica and by extension, the Caribbean, contributing to the creation of a globally competitive platform for micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises. About UCC BDCI, we are an operational unit within the University of the Commonwealth Caribbean and a member of the JBDC Small Business Development Center Network. We are a DBJ approved business development organization for micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises and vouchers for technical assistance can be redeemed at our office. UCC BDCI is, as I said before, a small business development center. Here we try to incorporate um, small business development center and Jamaica and so forth. So we in cooperation with the UCC and JBDC we created some pay training opportunities and we also advise for free small businesses that walk in. And you can always contact us as well. We provide business development support services and assist entrepreneurs and businesses in accessing finance and implementing digital business solutions. The UCC BDCI was established to provide business advisory and consulting services to entrepreneurs and existing businesses. We focus on micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises. Our goal is to contribute to create impacts that support economic growth through fostering innovation and entrepreneurship. BDCI. We are a BDO with a DBJ affiliation. UCC's BDCI is also a registered business development organization and we are affiliated with the Development Bank of Jamaica. 
We offer facilities such as the technical assistance voucher that help MSMEs access business advising and technical services. Henceforth, Wayne Johnson will be explaining that further on how we help. And he will go through what they do. So our target clients are tier one clients, tier two clients, and tier three clients. Tier one clients, those would be persons that um, are now starting off a new business venture. Um, you may have an idea or you're in the idea stages and you want assistance. You want to know how you can start your business. You want to know how you can develop your product. You want to know about marketing. These, these are the things that you may have this wonderful idea and, and you don't know where to start. So we will advise you in how to start your new business venture. Tier two clients, well, these are in the early stage of the business venture. You may have started the business and you want to some advice, maybe some financial advice, um, any type of advice really. So, and that's just an example. Tier three clients now, they're established. You have growth and you're looking at expanding and you just need some technical service. So the services we offer, we offer business advisory, we offer business consulting, training and development, um, research, e-commerce packages, and back office services. Services include from ideation to market, and we cover the full entrepreneur cycle, entrepreneurial cycle. Evaluation of the business idea, business model assessment, technical advice, digital solution strategies, legal advisory setting up of a company, partnering strategies, corporate governance, and team building. Our business consulting services include website development, e-commerce platform, marketing plans, business plans, financial plans and projections, financial analysis, budgeting, projections, legal advice, and the list goes on. You can see everything that we have here on, the, on our website, which is ucc.vdci, I believe, .co. Training and development services. Focus on assisting our clients with problem solving training. Training workshops include writing a business plan, understanding financial statements, business communication, digital marketing, but keeping slash accounting, financial analysis, corporate governance, product costing, and pricing. We also have three e-commerce packages. That is e-commerce startup, e-commerce business, and e-commerce pro. More information on that, as well as the pricing is on our website. We are also a certified business advisor for Growth Wheel. So if you want to come in and get some advice, we work with you to get your thoughts in order. And the Growth Wheel is a tool, is a visual tool, an online platform used by business advisors to assist companies in making decisions and taking actions. We also have the back offices, back office services. Um, these services include bookkeeping, accounting, financial management, and that is called our Value Edge program. Um, our Value Edge program is designed to deliver an effective suite of accounting and financial management solutions to MSMEs and help entrepreneurs and business owners achieve their mission. It is a suite of accounting and financial management service that in its first phase includes the following, setting up the books of the MSME clients using QuickBooks accounting software, updating their books monthly, 
providing MSME clients with end of month financial statements. And we also have the business formalization and legal advisory program, which is called Legal Bloom. And Legal Bloom, in short, is a legal advisory and formalization service targeted for MSMEs. So if you want to set up a business, but you're not sure what type of business you should, you can come to us and we'll give you some advice. We also do research. The research effort is the final component of the Institute. It complements the other areas of activities of the BDCI and supports the academic mission of UCC. The research effort has three elements. Research to support data and information for business advising. Research to support commercialization and policy-oriented research. So if you want a better, if you want to see this better, let me just show you our website. Hmm? Watch out, the CCTV guy. All right. So our website is bdci.co. It's as simple as typing in UCC BDCI and you can find it. And all this information that we just explained, all of it is online. Okay. All right. So I want to introduce our next speaker, Wayne Johnson. So Wayne Johnson is a relationship executive at the Development Bank of Jamaica. And he has been an account executive in the bank's loan department for the last 10 years. Wayne. Thank you. Um, good afternoon again, everyone. So let me just go ahead and share my screen. All right, so you should be seeing my screen. All right, so I'm here to talk to you about um, BBJ's loans and our grants that we have available to micro, small and medium-sized enterprises, business owners like yourself, entrepreneurs like yourself, looking to expand and to grow. Um, you might have heard about our SERV program that we're advertising recently. Just gonna give you some information under the program as well as other financing options that will um, be available to you. Um, so my name is Wayne Johnson a relationship executive in the Investor Relationships Unit at DBJ. And I'm just going to advise you of the various products and services that we have to offer. Um, so you can make your own determination as what's best for, you, for your business. All right, so you probably would have heard of SURF, which is actually an acronym, which stands for Social and Economic Recovery and Vaccine Program, more commonly called SURF Jamaica Program. And it's a program that was launched last year to implement um, as particular fund to revive the Jamaican economy and just to provide social support to Jamaican and business owners, right? So part of the program is to pr provide financing support for businesses like yourself. Um, the DBJ, we have responsibility for managing a $3 billion loan facility for micro, small and medium-sized enterprises like yourselves. Um, we have a Go Digital Loan Program where one billion has been earmarked for that through the Ministry of Finance. Uh, we have a $2 billion 
program that has been earmarked for a recovery loan program to micro, small, and medium sized enterprises um, to help you get your business back on track and to recover and grow. A lot of businesses have been adversely affected by COVID 19. So the government found it fit to implement a specific program to help you get your business back on track. And there's also a Go Digital Voucher program whereby $100 million has been earmarked for that particular program. All right. um, so what's the objective and expected outcome? Well, the DBJ as a government agency want to promote the adoption of cutting edge technology among micro, small and medium sized enterprises like yourselves and to facilitate a vibrant market for digitization amongst Go Digital business development organizations like UCC, right? And we want to provide support to a minimum of 1,250 micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises for digital trans transformation initiatives. And of course, we also want to improve the efficiency of MSMEs business processes, right? All right, so just some information on the product overview. Um, it's similar to the DBG existing voucher for technical assistance program. Um, the voucher and loan products will support digital transformation, and this can include but are not limited to what you're seeing on your screen now. Um, let's say you want to convert a manual service delivery process to a digital or automated process. This can be used for that. I um, mean, let's say you want to implement an e-commerce or some form of digital payment solution. Um, you can look to tap into this program to um, do that. Um, if you want to acquire um, software, such as cloud infrastructure or cybersecurity for your business, you can consider this program as well in terms of financing that, or let's say you need some form of productivity tools, um, an electronic signature application for your business, a video conferencing system for your business. Um, these forms can be used to facilitate that. Now, there's the DBJ Go Digital Voucher, right? This is a $300,000 voucher that can be used for digital transformation services. Right, for registered businesses in Jamaica with annual sales or revenues that fall below $75 million. Right, um, you can use this to do a number of things as listed there. Let's say you want a website for your business, um, you want to implement a new or advanced upgraded accounting software for your business, you want to implement an electronic payroll system for your business, video conferencing, ele electronic records management. Anything related to automation and digitization, um, you can consider the Go Digital Voucher that you redeem at your video, like UCC. Um, they offer a number of digitization services and um, they are one of our approved business development organizations. Um, there's also the loan component of the digitization initiative. Um, it's called the Go Digital Loan. Um, the amount that you can borrow under the Go Digital Loan is up to $800,000. Um, the interest rate is 2% per annum. So very low interest rate. And this is on the reduced thing balance and the interest rate is fixed. So you don't have to worry about the interest rate varying over the tenure of the loan, the interest rate is fixed. Now, what's the purpose of this loan facility? Well, it's to invest in anything related to digital transformation and technological advancement. Um, this can also include acquisition of computers and hardware for your business through any IT supplier, right? You can get up to three years to repay this loan facility. Um, there's a moratorium or a grace period of principal of up to three months. And funding for the project can go up to as much as 90% of the project cost, up to the maximum of $800,000, right? And this is available through DBJ's accredited lenders, right? Um, and then we have the DBJ MSME recovery loan, right? Now this loan facility was created to help businesses expand and recover. A lot of businesses have been adversely affected due to COVID-19 as well as other issues, right? Um, under this loan facility, you can borrow up to $10 million um, it comes at a 5% interest rate per annum. This interest rate is also fixed and it's on the reducing balance. Um, what can you use this loan facility for? Well, as a business owner, you can use it to fund and finance working capital support. You can use it to purchase equipment for your business. Um, you can use it to fund any projects, any capital expenditure projects that you're undertaking. 
Um, you can use it to consolidate debt as a business owner. You might have outstanding debt or high interest rates debts. You can use it to clear credit cards and refinance high interest rate business loans that are, that are on, on your books, right? You get up to eight years to repay this loan. You can get up to 12 months moratorium on principal. And this facility is available also through our accredited lenders, right? And just to advise, this loan facility is available up until March of this year. So I would advise everyone just to take advantage of it. Um, after March, it might not be available. Um, as it is now, it's available up until March. It's a special loan facility. So if you're considering um, expanding or um, purchasing equipment or doing any capital expenditure project for your job um, and for your business and for your business operations, I would recommend that you access this loan facility um, before March 31st of this year. Um, so we have other financing options available. We have grants, we have loans, other loans, and we have the guarantees referred to as a credit enhancement facility, the CEF, right? Um, so our other grants, well, we have vouchers for technical assistance as UCC is well out here as one of our partners. We have up to 30 different services partnering with a number of BDOs, UCC being one of them. Um, voucher values vary in value from 200 to 250,000. Told you about the Go Digital grant earlier. Um, you might need help with preparing a business plan, um, preparing financial statements, might need help with product development, um, might need help with marketing. So it can be a number of various technical assistance services. Um, there's the VTA program where you get grants for those business development services from one of our approved consultants. Um, we also have the Ignite program whereby innovative startups can get a grant of up to $3 million. Um, if you're at the early stage, commercialization stage, um, grants can go up to as much as $7 million. We have an innovation grant fund for medium-sized businesses who have been in operation for at least five years now. You can get a grant of up to $14 million. Um, if it is that you have a new idea, new products, new services, new markets. Um, and we also have an energy audit grant whereby you can get a grant of $200,000. If it is that you deem that your business um, is consuming too much energy, high light bills, um, you can get an energy auditor to come in and audit your business. Um, that comes with a cost. So we have a grant also for that from one of our approved um, energy auditors, right? You know, these facilities are available through our website at thinkbiggie.com. Um, also, we have other loan facilities. We have the MSME loan facility, whereby we can borrow up to $30 million, um, up to 8.25% interest rate, up to 10 years to repay, and up to two years moratorium um, on principal, right? Um, so these are some of our other loan facilities outside of the loans that I mentioned earlier under the Serve Jamaica program. Um, there's also our J Dollar DBJ regular loan facility whereby you can borrow up to $500 million, um, up to 8.25%, um, up to 10 years to repay, and up to two years principal. And we have a US dollar line. If there are those who are interested in borrowing in US dollars, um, you can borrow as much as up to 5 million US dollars at 7.25%. These loan facilities, once again, are also available through our accredited lenders. Um, and finally, we have our credit enhancement facility, our guarantee. Um, right, so for our general micro, small and medium-sized enterprise loans, um, you can get 80% coverage of the loan up to a maximum of $30 million. Um, for small loans, which are considered loans of $11 million or less, you can get 90% coverage of the loan up to a maximum of $10 million. And the terms um, have a maximum term of 10 years, which is in line with the amount of time you can get to, um, to service one of our loans. So what is the credit enhancement facility? Um, it's a security plug. Um, let's say you need a loan for X amount and it needs to be fully collateralized, but you don't have sufficient collateral to securitize the loan. Um, the credit enhancement plugs that gap um, to facilitate you getting a loan, 
through the bank. So that's what that facility is for. Um, of course, to qualify for this facility, your sales have to be less than $425 million. You have to be tax compliant. Business has to be registered. Um, your project has to be considered financially viable and te technically feasible. Um, and those are the products that DBJ um, currently offers. So thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Okay. So we're going to go ahead with Gennardo Patterson. So Mr. Patterson has been a banker for eight years and is currently a business banking executive at First Global Bank. Throughout his journey, he held several positions in different organizations which molded him into the man that he is today. As a youth growing up in George North, Manchester, his passion for finance and economics led him to move to Kingston in pursuit of higher education. He enrolled at the University of Technology and obtained a bachelor's degree in finance and economics. Gennardo also has a master's degree in finance from the University of the West Indies. Gennardo believes that you will never win if you never begin. So, Thank you guys. And we'll be moving on to First Global Bank and you, because this is one thing um, what really prompted us to have this webinar is that it's really difficult getting a loan from the bank. And Gennardo, don't say that's not true, <laughs> because it is. <laughs> and so everyone, all of our clients have kept asking us, how do we get along? How do we get along? How do we get along? So that's why we invited Mr. Patterson to come on today. So I hand it over to you now. All right, thank you. Um, give me a few seconds, let me just get this thing up and running. So uh, again, um, thank you for having me today. I hope that we've all been enjoying the session so far. Um, my purpose here is to pretty much uh, share how First Global Bank can help you to get ahead in life and business. Um, what I'll be doing is to look at some of the loan facilities that we have at the bank, um, talk about the requirements for these loans, and then we look over the, have a discussion on the interest rate, and then we move into uh, any questions that may be at the end of the session. So again, my name is Gennardo Patterson. I'm a business banking executive and I'm at the New Kingston Bank, the first global bank. The type of loan facilities that we have at the bank uh, generally covers uh, four groupings. Um, we have the line of credits, we have demand loans, we do have receivable financing, and then we have cash secured loans. Um, the line of credits are pretty much uh, credit cards, um, revolving lines and overdrafts. Now, these facilities are facilities that are available to assist with cash flow support, um, as oftentimes businesses have a difference in when they receive cash and when cash is required. This is where the line of credit comes in and it bridges that gap, that, that, that falls between when you receive and when you actually need your cash. Um, so the credit card in itself um, provides up to 55 days um, to repay. And it depends on how you use the card. Because if you are strategic with the card, you can get up to 55 days interest-free in using the credit card. Um, the revolving line offers up to 90 days to repay. Um, it's, it's pretty much a line of credit that once you, it has a limit, you draw against this limit and uh, utilize the cash to, to uh, deal with immediate expenses. And as um, once you're, you receive your cash from whatever expected um, source, then you can use this to liquidate the, the amount that would have been drawn um, from the facility. You have up to 90 days to repay, and there's no penalty for early repayment on this facility. Um, the overdraft in itself now provides the greatest freedom of the tree lines. However, you want to ensure that once you have an overdraft facility, you at least try to get it back in credit at least once a year, because you wouldn't want at the end of the year once, once this facility is being reviewed that it is then seen to be a hardcore use of the facility. And uh, this might run the risk of losing that overdraft facility and then have run into cash flow problems um, in, the, in the coming years. So 
Again, um, lines of credits generally used in business to assist with cash flow needs. Um, we talk about the demand loans. Demand loans are facilities that are amortized. Um, these are you pay interest on these on a reducing balance. There's flexible repayment terms and it range from monthly to semi-annually. How you repay is dependent on a discussion and when we would have examined your expected uh, cash flows uh, based on this expectation and the timing of your cash flow is, is how you determine um, the repayment terms that would be best suited for you. Because at the end of the day, we want to get the loan, but at the, we want to ensure that you're able to repay the loan. So we wouldn't put you on a monthly repayment when you normally get payment from your supply, from your customers rather, every, every two months, every three months. So we want to structure it in a way that you will be able to um, repay your loans. As some of the loans that we have at First Global Bank, um, it ranges from commercial property purchase. Uh, and that one is clear. We have our construction loans. And you might be seeing on the screen now self-liquidating construction. And you'll be wondering, what's the difference between the two? The construction loan is a loan that will be repaid um, from the up, from cash flows from operation. Right? Um, so you'd have a business ongoing, and then you'd pay this on a monthly basis from your cash flow. But the self-liquidating construction now, this is where you get funding for a project to do a development, for example. Once you complete the development and start to offloading the units, it is the sale of these units that will be used to liquidate the facility. These kind of facilities generally come with a 18 months moratorium to allow you to um, complete the project uh, before you start repaying on the principal. Interest is however payable on a monthly basis. As we would have mentioned earlier, um, DBJ have um, funds available and we uh, and, and DBJ would have partnered, and we so we do offer so, um, the DBJ F, FGB DBJ um, partnered financing. Uh, we'll conduct the assessment, um, determine the affordability of, of, of the customer and the credit worthiness, and pretty much recommend um, for for consideration. We do have a BPO finance um, expansion. We have livestock um, loans. Here, once you have a, a contract with a DB, with a Caribbean boilers or a Jamaican boilers, you are able to come to First Global Bank and we provide you with the financing necessary to assist with the uh, build out and renovation of your, of your, of your housing for your, for your respective livestock. We do have farm expansion loans and the cream of the crop right now is the early stage financing. Here we are now providing financing for companies um, operating for a minimum of, of 18 months. So pretty much you're in a startup phase, but we are now able to look at your, um, at your business and provide you financing at this stage. But what you want to do is to ensure that you are maintaining uh, good records, uh, satisfactory records rather, to allow for you to get financing at this place, at this stage. Um, so what we're saying is that at First Global Bank, we have loan facilities that are so structured that they, will build, that they are built to satisfy your demand. Of note, um, all the facilities that we just mentioned a while ago um, have a maximum tenure of 15 years, but this is dependent on the type of security. Now, as it relates to equity requirement in, in, in projects, generally once you have 20% uh, um, input in, 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 the, in the projects, then the bank is prepared to finance uh, the 80% difference of, of, the, of the cost of the project. So we move on to uh, receivable financing. Here, I put a scenario to you. You hear that you hear of a tender or a project for which you are more than capable of executing. You are also aware of what others would have bid for the project. But based on your experience, you believe that you could uh, complete this project for a total cost of, for example, $70 million, and you would bid for the project $100 million. This would give you a profit of $30 million. However, you must upfront the cost of the project and claim upon completion. You also believe that you can complete this project within 90 days. But a review of your cash balances reveal that you only have $20 million. And remember, you know, you want $70 million. You believe you can complete the project for $70 million. So you only have $20 million. You have a shortage of $50 million. What do you do? Do you just walk away from the project as you are not able to come up with the funds necessary? Now, what we're saying is that at first, Global Bank, bring 
make make the bid for the project. Get once you're approved of this um for the for the project, right? Are you are you're, you're selected rather for the project? Provide us with the contract details of uh, of this project. We review same and we are prepared to provide you financing of up to seventy five percent of the value of the contract, um or eighty percent of the cost of the project. Right away, you would get the financing that you'd need to complete the project. Once you're completed and you've claimed, then you can go ahead and repay uh, the amount um, that you would have utilized under the receivable financing. So that is where the receivable financing is an excellent um, um, product uh, that you can uh, that gives you the freedom to pursue projects that, you, that your cash balance wouldn't normally um, allow you to. Uh, we have cash, the cash secured facilities. Now, these are facilities, as it, as it the name suggests, they are secured by cash. And they are used primarily for businesses in the early stage of operation or when businesses lack the requisite financial data. Most times, um, businesses are, are, are not so, the data up, uh, is not readily available. And when you have the, a situation like this, um, no proper financial data being maintained, the bank does not have anything to assess to determine your credit worthiness. And based on that nature, um, you'd have to pursue a cash secured facility. But also persons use um, cash secured facilities to reduce your interest exposure because the, the risk, the security is so liquid, then the interest rate on those loans are generally lower. And um,